Welcome back. We're going to look at a ruler measurement. And with ruler measurements, it's a little bit different than the diagram I drew earlier. But the diagram I drew earlier, there's a fairly wide division or fairly wide space between divisions. But here you can see the, these divisions are really close together. So if you look at this is, of course, this 13 pertains to this number here. And this is 14. You can see that the measurement will either be on a line or in between a line. And if it's in between, we consider it to be exactly halfway. So with metric ruler measurements, centimeter measurements go two decimal places and let's say measurement ends in zero or five. Okay, so and you can easily see that if we go to the bottom of this page and look at this example. So here we have the 12. So the longer line pertains to the whole number here, 12 and 13. If you look really carefully, you can see that this is 12.5, 12.6, 12.7, 12. It's in between 12.8 and 12.5. Sorry, 12.8 and 12.9. So if it's in between, we assume that it is exactly halfway in between. So two decimal places, this one ends in a five. If we look at this one, it's on the 13.3 line, and since it's directly on the line, we add that extra zero, indicating that it's not halfway in between, it ends in zero. So if it falls on the line, it's gonna end in zero. Tricky one here is if it lands exactly on a whole number here, so 14, we have to ensure that we put decimal zero, zero. So it's on the 14.0 line, and yeah, it's not above it, so we added that extra zero there. So 14.00. So go to decimal places, ends in a zero or five. If you look at the next page, we won't have to worry about these ones. Uh, so if you go directly to the assignment, um, you'll see a couple of ones there that we'll be doing. So right here, so if I do one with you here, uh, so 18, 19, okay, so we can see that it's at least 18. Uh, it appears to be in between the, let's see, 1.1, 1 .1, 0.2, 0.3, it's in between the 0.2 and 0.3. So we assume that's going to be exactly halfway in between. When converting to millimeters, of course, we use that uh, conversion chart that we just did. So going from centi to milli going from centi to milli, moving down the chart, a movement of one, so the decimal goes to the right by one. So 18.25, 182.5 millimeters. And we're going from centimeters to meters, centimeters to meters, centimeters to meters, one, two, moving up the chart by two, so the decimal goes to the left by two. So 18.25, comes 0.1825 uh, millimeters, or sorry, meters. So we should be able to do the next one here and the bottom one. When you get to the next page, we can do those. I think at the very last one though, there wasn't a spot designated for centimeters. So maybe we'll just insert number 19 and that is centimeters. So do that one first. Then you can convert to meters, to millimeters, and then kilometers. All right, we'll see you again.